Alright, so before I get into it, I do want to say, if the lighting quality is a little low, I apologize for that. Part of that is because it's real cloudy outside. It doesn't bring as much light into the my room through the windows that I'm recording in, so I apologize for that. And if you haven't th done so, please do me a favor. Help out by dropping a like to help out with the algorithm. Help push it out there. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell to know if I'm to upload a new vid. Help this channel grow. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the situation. So let's get right into it. So Howie Roseman did an interview on WIP 94 where he finally addressed the Jalen Rager trades. His first interview since then. So I'm going to read off a little bit of what he said. So what Howie said, first thing he said, it's obvious. I'm not going to sit here and lie. We'd love to have that moment back. First thing he said in the 95 WIP interview, here's what else he said. In more in depth, he said, I think a lot of the message there is. We just have to take the best player at all times. We don't have to worry so much about fit or what we have on the team. You go back to that moment, we had two tight ends who were really good in the middle of the field. Greg Ward was coming off a really good year in the slot. We were looking for a specific role as opposed to just grading the players. That's on me, 100%. At the end of the day, I'm responsible for all that. But I also promise you one thing. If I make a mistake, I'm going to do everything in my power to make it up. So that's what he said right there. And he admitted what he was thinking at the time. He was looking for a fit, but not really looking for the best player. He thought Jalen Rager was going to be a good fit. Well, obviously that was not the case at all. He was a terrible fit. He was unproductive. Numerous fumbles and drops throughout his two seasons. And clear. And we remember at the time, it was either Justin Jefferson or Jalen Rager, wide receiver for the Eagles. We took Jalen Rager, which means Jefferson fell to the Vikings. We clearly see through their first two seasons, respectively, Rager and Jefferson, who the better wide receiver is. It's clearly Justin Jefferson. As far as the part where Howie was looking for a good fit, well, obviously he didn't find a good fit. And he realizes, looking back on it now, that was the wrong move that's best to go by who's the best player, who's graded as the best player. And usually, more often than not, that is the case. You can look at all the failed draft picks throughout the years where the team took a player that was graded lower. Like, take a look when the Cleveland Browns, 1999, they drafted Tim Couch over McNabb, and he was graded higher, which worked out in our favor. Point being, though, historic, just use one example of many where historically that doesn't work out. And Howie Rosen made that same mistake in 2020. He wasn't looking at the overall grades. He took Jalen Rager instead, and clearly it didn't work out. And clearly, I feel like, as far as Howie Roseman goes and what he said, he gained my respect for that. For a while, he had, I was putting him on my hot seat there. But this offseason, with the moves he's made, and now officially... Owning up to what he did in the 2020 draft in the first round specifically, botching that pick by picking Jalen Rager over Justin Jefferson, he's got my respect for that. He clearly, it's not just him saying he was wrong about because it it's obvious either. You can tell by the moves he's made this offseason how he has learned and he's will that he has changed and that he's he's gonna he's trying to build up a better team here. Clearly, see the draft they trade to get AJ Brown, clearly a better move. Getting guys like Hassan Reddick. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson trade that recently happened. Bringing in Zach Pascal. You know, obviously, clearly, he's learned, you know, and that, you know, James Bradbury. So, obviously, doing better. And, obviously, this year, we had a solid draft. Getting Jordan Davis. Nicobe Dean. Cam Jurgens. And obviously the trade for AJ Brown, like I mentioned, clearly you can see by all these moves, he's clearly learned, and he's definitely doing better now. He's definitely making better moves now. So I got my respect for Howie Roseman for that, and for admitting that he's wrong, that he's learned from his mistakes on top of it. So I'm actually happy Howie came forward, acknowledged what he did wrong, and he just gained more credibility for my taking. So salute to Howie Rosen for coming out admitting he was wrong. Salute to him for trying to make up for it for all the moves he's made. So I really got to say right there. Those guys that watch, thank for watching. If you haven't done so already, do me a favor. Drop a like, help out the algorithm. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell. Help support the channel. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Howie's comments. Most of all, have a wonderful night or day. 